In case you have a Ford car that uses a keyless entry system, then you know how convenient they can be. However, if you forget your door code, it can be quite frustrating trying to get into your car. In this video, I will show you how to reset the door code on your Ford without the factory code. What is a keyless entry code? A keyless entry code is a code that is used to unlock the door of a car without the use of a key. The code is typically four digits long and is entered into a keypad on the door. Keyless codes are generally used in two different ways. The first is to unlock the door when the key fob is not working. The second is to use the code as an alternative to a key when you do not have one with you. The major advantages of using a code instead of a key are convenience and security. If you lose your keys, you can still get into your car. And if someone tries to break into your car, they will not be able to do so unless they know the code. How the Ford Door Keyless Entry Works The Ford Door Keyless Entry System uses a keypad on the door to enter the code. The code is entered by pressing the buttons on the keypad in a specific order. The order of the buttons varies depending on the model of the Ford car. Reasons why you might need to reset the Ford Door Code there are a few reasons why you might need to reset the code on your Ford door when you forget the code. The most common reason is if you forget the code. If you do not use the code often, it is easy to forget what it is. If someone else is using your car. Another reason you might need to reset the code is if someone else needs to use your car and they do not know the code. If the keypad is not working, you might need to reset it. This can be due to a variety of reasons, such as a dead battery or a problem with the wiring. The factory code. In order to reset the door code on your Ford, you will need the factory code. The factory code is a four-digit code that is specific to your car. It is generally located in the owner's manual. If you cannot find it there, you can also try looking for it on the sticker that is on the driver's side door. Entering the factory code. Once you have located the factory code, you will need to enter it into the keypad on the door. The order of the buttons that you need to press will vary depending on the model of your car. If you are unsure of which buttons to press, you can consult the owner's manual. Once you have entered the factory code, the door will unlock. Ford Keyless Entry VIN Number When you cannot find the factory code, you can also use the VIN number. The VIN number is a 17-digit code that is specific to your car. It is generally located on the dashboard or on the driver's side door. To use the VIN number, you will need to enter it into the keypad on the door. The order of the buttons that you need to press will vary depending on the model of your car. In case you are unsure of which buttons to press, you can consult the owner's manual. Once you have entered the VIN number, the door will unlock. How to reset Ford door code without factory code. The keypad is generally located near the driver's window. When you press on the keypad, it will light up, allowing you to easily and quickly input the correct combination code. Keep in mind that you should not type the code too rapidly or the system may reject it. If this happens, simply re-enter the code. The following functions are provided by the Ford Keyless Entry System. 1. Close or open doors. Your keyless entry code will also work to close or open your Ford doors. If you have more than one door, such as a trunk, you may need to input the code multiple times. To close the door, simply press the lock button on the keypad. The door will then lock, and you will hear a beeping sound. 2. Remembers seat and side mirror positions. This system also allows you to save your seat and side mirror positions. Simply input the code when you get into the car, and the seats will adjust to your preferred position. The side mirrors will also adjust to your previously saved settings. To change your seat or side mirror positions, simply input the code, and then make the desired changes. 3. Arms and disarms the car alarm. In case your Ford is equipped with an alarm, you can use the keyless entry code to arm or disarm it. To do so, simply press the lock or unlock button on the keypad. You will hear a beeping sound when the car is locked or unlocked. If the car is locked, the alarm will be armed. If the car is unlocked, the alarm will be disarmed. 4. Allows you to close or open the trunk. The keyless entry code can also be used to open or close the trunk. To do so, simply press the trunk button on the keypad. The trunk will then open or close. 5. Programs your custom entry codes. In addition to the factory code, you can also program your own custom codes. This can be useful if you want to give someone else access to your car without giving them the factory code. A five-digit code was created when the system was originally programmed, and it is also included in the original wallet card that was placed in the glove box by the manufacturer. However, if you don't have a new vehicle, these codes may not exist. Therefore, apart from memory and writing down the code, you have an alternative option. Programming up to eight new four-digit codes yourself. To program your own entry code without the factory code, find an online generator to obtain a factory code. On your remote, press the button numbers 1 and 2. Enter the new personal code that you've chosen to employ from now on. Press buttons 1 and 2 again. The doors should be able to lock themselves and unlock. 
Which Ford models have keyless entry? Keyless entry is a feature that is available on many different Ford models. Some of the models that have this feature include the Ford Escape, Edge, Explorer, and Expedition. But if you are not sure if your car has keyless entry, you can consult the owner's manual or ask a dealer. To summarize what we covered in this video, keyless entry is a great feature that allows you to easily and quickly enter your car. But if you forget the code, don't worry. There are ways to reset it without the factory code. To reset, find a factory code for your remote on the internet. Enter the new personal code you've decided to use from now on by pressing buttons 1 and 2 on your remote, followed by numbers 3 and 4. To ensure proper functioning, confirm by pushing buttons 1 and 2 once again. I hope this video helped. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and follow so you don't miss any of my videos.